Now where the hell are we? 65. Not sure how many levels there actually are. But we're on 65, so that's fun. Bratwurst Cliff Return. We're back here to Bratwurst Cliff. That's not cool. That was a close one. It, they almost fucked us over. Where to next? I say we take Mr. Cannon, who certainly can, into Bratwurst Cliff to build a new lab. New lab? Well, where's his old lab? Why, why not go there instead? It was at Cotton Candy Snowfields. It has been impounded by the CASF units, so it's unusable. We'll explain more on the way. Let's go to Bratwurst Cliff. They head to Bratwurst Cliff. So what exactly is going on? It all started when Romeo and friends and CS-106 started taking down each other's stations, which which, which led Romeo to a wyvern lair and blockade on his way to Studio 3 at Cotton Candy Snowfields, where Romeo slayed a wyvern with a tank. The CSF wasn't too happy with, with, with Mr. Cannon, who certainly cannon, providing Romeo heavy firepower. So they stormed Mr. Cannon's lab and seized all of his tank tech and plans and put him put him and his crew all in a Chocolate City jail. Who's ready to go to jail? As for us, we, we were scattered about by random unfortunate events. But luckily we all converged on your tour in Cheddarstock. We had to come up with a plan to save Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon, and company from Chocolate City, and your ship came to mind. Of course the ordeal at Chocolate City only got better when we actually attempted the daring rescues. Our friend Sean helped us actually get past the guards to the complex. Everyone except Romeo fell for a trap when saving Nathan and Travis and a group of other scientists working for Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon. Romeo's the only one who's not an idiot, didn't you know? Luckily, when Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon, science team, tried to rescue us, they were trapped with us. Of course, we lost Nathan and Sean in the trap. A ninja named Zen says saved us from the trap, and then we saved Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon, and one huge mess of random stuff, which which let us all escape sans Travis. There are some rumors Travis is playing both teams, but the CSF made them up, so I don't know. Interesting. Hey, wait. We were so busy with saving Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon, that we forgot to go after Studio 6. We're, we're, we're Mr. Lane and the Furger at. Forget about that for now. There's way too much GT-10 heat at Chocolate City or the complex break-in. It's way too risky right now. Would Nathan... ...who's gonna help me build more missile tanks? We will, of course. We ain't know no shit about no engineering gig. We all had to start somewhere. You think I did my training to toast marshmallows? I trained to fight the CASF threat. So what's the plan? I say we take Mr. Cannon, who certainly can, into Bratwurst Cliff to build a new lab. Romeo will clear out some of the CESF units still there, so they won't cause issues with lab rebuilding. We will then begin to rebuild Mr. Cannon, who certainly can, in his lab when the CESF is gone from the building site. Who, who's going to be doing the rebuilding? All of us, maybe. Sounds boring. I don't think I'm up for this. Come on, Romeo. It'll be fun. You might get to make different kinds of powerful weapons in the lab. Eh, I don't know. Why not? I still got a beef with the CASF over that shit they pulled on Mr. Cannon, who's certainly Cannon and company. I say I take down another studio or two while you rebuild. Sounds like a plan. That's suicidal. You solo against an entire CASF with an even greater vendetta against you than ever? Then what? Like... Like we just said, you clear block. You clear Bratwurst Cliff of CASF units, then help us rebuild Mr. Cannon's lab. Fine. Talk about boring, though. Hey, Mr. Laser Cannon is not working. Mr. Laser? What the hell? My laser cannon is not working. I mentioned that the laser cannon I made could break after some use. That's fine. We'll build the lab, and from there, Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon, can make even bigger guns for you. I was having so much fun using my laser cannon. Sorry, that was the most durable weapon I could make on little notice. I was captive at Chocolate City, you know. Yeah, we'll make longer-lasting weapons. We will when we get the lab built. The syndicators have broken m m Mr. Cannon out of jail. Damn it! Just what have we been trying to avoid from happening? The good news is Romeo left before he could touch Studio 6 where Mr. Lane and the Ferg are at. 
Also, we have increased the production of Hooligan Buster rounds at a faster rate than we have been making them. Our GT Strikers may have to test at least a few more Hooligan Buster rounds before we can confirm the rapid made ones work. But what about Mr. Cannon, who, who certainly cannon? It'll take a while before he can build tanks again. Good. Shut up, Mike. There are a few CESF units at Bratwurst Cliff where the Syndicators are headed to. We will have Strikers on scene with a special Confusion Star gadget that goes after the enemy and confuses the enemy when near the Confusion Star. We also have Striker units that launch grenades shaped like a Klein bottle that travel on the player's screen as if it was a Klein bottle for a while. We will also be rolling out ninja units that throw image shitikins that appear different from where they're at. These units will be supported by two-way cannon strikers, and more. The Syndicators are headed to Bratwurst Cliff. Strategic Command Intelligence Division believes via Globe Table 10 analysis that Bratwurst Cliff may be a new building site for a new lab for Mr. Cannon, who certainly cannon, now that he has escaped Facility 1806 at Chocolate City. What about the lab at Cotton Candy Snowfields? We don't think Mr. Cannon, who certainly cannon, will go there since we took everything from his old lab. Also, Bratwurst Cliff is the best strategic position for a possible new lab for Mr. Cannon, who certainly cannon. In that case, let's hope the CESF can stop them there. This is the Airwave Situation Report. The CESF has lost custody of Mr. Cannon, who certainly cannon. Un company, when the syndicators broke the syndicator scientist out of the Chocolate City jails. The CESF have raised the capture reward to 25 billion GP for each syndicator recapture. Million, not billion. What the hell am I talking about? Not worth that much. CS106, I'm Mitch. It is time for some very breaking news. And at the news desk, it is the one and only Derek. Thanks, Mitch. It's a very busy news day, as the syndicators busted a bunch of dangerous researchers out of the Chocolate City Jails. The Chocolate City Jails. The Chocolate City Jails. The CESF urges everyone to turn any syndicators into the CESF as every one of them is considered to be extremely armed and extremely dangerous. Will we be prepared when Mr. Cannon, who certainly cannon, starts making tanks again? The CESF warns that any syndicator tanks could lead to reckless town rampages, led by any syndicator, escapee. The CESF is working on a solution. Luckily, the syndicators steered clear of Studio 6 where Mr. Lane and the Ferg are at. Finally, on this otherwise breaking news day, Cheese Desert authorities have busted Jack for robbing an ice cream parlor. Authorities say that a robbery at an ice cream parlor at Cheese Desert turned into a hostage situation. When turned into a standoff, no one except Jack was injured in the conflict. Jack was taken to and booked at the Cheese Desert jail after the incident. That's a sh Jack got caught! CS-106, your weather guarantee. Looking at highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s throughout the week. It is 57 right now on your radio. Coming up, there is a new tech toy coming out called the Pad Phone that combines phone technology with controller technology. And so we have another letter person top 10 list about it coming up. CS106, I'm Mitch. The Pad Phone is being rolled at Strawberry Dice Meadow Town. And with that in mind, yes, it's time for the top 10 list from the home office of East Yuhu, East Corn Plains. These are the top 10 features of the new Pad Phone. Oh, these are the 10 things to look forward to for the pad phone. You got that right, Vegastar. Hey! Here we go. Number 10. It comes preloaded with a list of specials for Doc Sigma to avoid. <laughs> no. Number 9. To make calling Romeo easier, it comes preloaded with... with... Romeo's number. John would like that. Number 8. Newfie's pad phone comes with built-in notifications that tell him to stop screwing around already. Number 7. By rules, it cannot be sold to Vegastar. <laughs> Number six, there is a low battery app that tells you, out of juice, sir, when your battery life is running low. Well, sure. Number five, to protect bystanders, it automatically turns down the volume when playing a Nickelback or Creed song. Number four, Jack's pad phone comes preloaded with a comprehensive list of cheat code combinations and cheat mods for online gameplay. Number three, it comes with a mustard stain removal tooltip app. Number two, anyone who names their pad phone named Moldy Donut gets a lifetime supply of Moldy Donuts. And the number one feature of the new pad phone, you can't do anything from the pad phone on television. Well, there you go. Listen, I would like to stick around and chat, but I gotta go. Oh, so you'll be heading to the pad phone convention? 
Actually, no. I need to call Vegastar and tell him he can't buy one by rules. Ha ha ha. See ya. The CS106 Morning Comedy Adventure Radio Show. God, Ferg, let me go! CS106, I'm the Ferg. I wanted to tell you the syndicators that were near our studio have fled our area and are no longer close to the station. That was a close one. The CASF will be beefing up defenses to stop the syndicators from returning to the studio. In the meantime, let's do this. It's time to listen to the six-pack. You came up with the hardware theme and six songs to match the hardware theme. Let's play them. Have fun with that. What the hell? I just teleported. And it was very weird. Very weird. Very weird. Magic stick. Feels like it's been a while since we've done like a regular level. Because it's been all like whatever, like weird things and. And what the fuck? You can't jump over there! There's nothing else down here, goddamn you. Bum 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 HP E E E No why Well we got that out of it, that's kind of a thing. Ah get off of me, stupid star Star sixty nine and such? I appreciate that. What the hell? That's why that yellow do to do. There's some health. Oh, no, no. Get out of here, Mr. N no, why would you do that? Why would stand up adventures even allow such a thing? It's my question. I don't even know. a thing like way back like 2007 or something I don't even know when that was a thing but that was a thing at some point hey Roy Jenkins stop pushing me sir this thing keeps bullying me like like hasty Steven in second grade Fine, you be that way, sir. Papa Murphy's. We live, like, a couple blocks away from a Papa Murphy's. What the fuck is he... Stop pushing me, sir! What is wrong with this guy? He keeps pushing me. And it's, like, one of the most rude things I've ever seen in my life. I do not like it at all. Stop. 
Drop it. I'm trying to do stuff and I keep getting pushed around. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Kind of like Pokemon. And FF10. And Digimon. And Kingdom Hearts. Can you press up? Rude, even. Sixty six, rebuild and go to forest. We found a great place for Mr. Cannon's new lab. It's so great to have some fresh air and normalcy. Where the fuck do we start? I don't know. I never trained to build a lab, but I'm sure it'll be good when we finish it. I say we work on some drawn plans for the lab. CSF may take our radio stations and labs, but they will never take our will to make new ones. Can we hurry this up? We got more CSF asses to beat. Not so fast, Romeo. Good progress takes time. Yeah, whatever. Well, let's start with the plan, shall we? Good. Shut up, Mr. Cannon. Who certainly cannon. I can help with some of the plans. I can help, too. It should have plans so we can view the volcano region. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Fine, don't forget chemical labs, too. We will also need room for specialized CPU chips for our missile launchers and missiles, too. The group have extended discussions over what to build in the lab and come up with the lab plans. Now that we come up with the lab plan, where are we going to get the materials for some of the stuff? I don't know. The missile chip materials may be the hardest to come up with. As for the buildings itself, we can get some natural materials to build the lab itself. It'll definitely be a while until we get all we need for the lab. We may not have enough materials for the lab tower. We may have a way around it if we can build a mini chopper for viewing the volcano. We at least have a good start, so so we can get some materials. A long while later, the group gathers materials and starts building the lab. This is going to take a while. Yeah. After more time, they build more of the lab. We are getting closer to getting the lab finished. That didn't take long. Sheesh. I'm, I'm getting some building training. No shit. The group gets most of the lab done. Well, well what's left? Right, that. After a long while searching for chip materials, they find some. Looks like our work is done. Finally, are we done? Can we get going? Eh, not quite. We still have some work to do, but we should probably take a break from adding to the lab. How about Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon and his science team finish up the lab while we plan for our next destination? Is Studio 6 still too hot to handle? It might be. I heard from Travis they have a way more powerful machine called Zygmunt. Guarding Studio 6, and if we attack the studio, we're toast. It, it's more powerful than Schmidt. Or Schultz. What then? The, the volcano? I've been meaning to check out the legend there. Well, maybe you, but we have not built any tanks yet. Try Moon Pie Lake Forest before the volcano. What's there? Studio 7 is there. We may be able to take down another CS-106 radio station while Mr. Cannon and his team build some high-powered weapons for the volcano the recon guy was talking about. Hey, that's a great idea. Let's go and teach those pool experts at Studio 7 at Moon Pie Lake Forest who's boss. By the way, who are the DJs there? It says here that Steve and Joe work at that radio. Who the hell are Steve and Joe? What the beep? Not for long, they won't. Yeah, that's what they get for fucking with us. Well, let's go. Mr. Cannon can stay to work the lab. This is Strategic Command Intelligence Division. The syndicators have been sighted by Globe Table Intel at Bratwurst Cliff. Mr. Cannon, who certainly cannon, built another lab there. Damn it. Well, what should we do? We will continue to make and test more hooligan buster rounds. Meanwhile, Keith is deciding whether to order an airstrike on the new lab. Well, why not? 
Keith wants to wait until they fill the lab with weapons. Maybe we can destroy the lab with an airstrike, and the hooligan buster can finish off any tanks in the lab ruins. If all else fails, we can just use the hooligan buster rounds when the tanks go to the volcano. You know, that's a really stupid idea. I'm just throwing that out there. If we have enough hooligan buster rounds? We have plenty, so stopping any tanks should be no problem. At least we have that. We have deployed Zygmunt to stop the Syndicators from going to Studio 6 where Mr. Lane and the Ferg are at. If the Syndicators try to enter, they're toast. We still have to defend our other studios from the Syndicators, like Studio 7 in Moon Pie Lake Forest, and Studio 8 at the Mount Habanero Volcano. We have more types of aqua units at parts of Moon Pie Lake Forest. We will also deploy AA defenses around Studio 7 to shoot down Alan's ship. Good. Shut up, Mike. CS106, I'm Steve, along with Joe, whoever these jerks are. S Steve Harvey and Joe Rogan. Just a reminder, we will hold a CASF recruitment open house at Moon Pie Lake Forest for those interested in joining the CASF, but are still unsure. Coming up, I have a few more useless and funny facts coming up, and we will be doing Showbiz Quiz coming up after the break. It is time for Showbiz Quiz, where we will ask you a question, and you can call in your answer for prizes. Call in to win after the question. It is time for Showbiz Quiz and today's Wheel of Trivia Day. We will spin the wheel to see what question we will do for a West Ham sandwich is spicy West Ham sandwich. That sounds good, actually. Today's topics are forum goer salts, not Roy, Roman nougat, LSLB FYI, and special tangents. Spin the wheel, Steve. Steve spins the wheel. The wheel will land on forum goer salts. Let's open the envelope to see what the question is. Okay. What world of Luigi's adventure did Vegastar quit on? Again, what world did Vegastar quit on? Call in to win. Showbiz quiz time, and here is the question for today. What world of Luigi's Adventure did Vegastar quit on? Let's go to the phone. CS106, what is your guess? Is it five? <coughs> no, that's not it. That was the world which he threw the controller in. So that one was a bit tricky. CS106, what is your guess? World nine? <coughs> nope. He should be that lucky. CS106, what is your guess? World eight? Ding, ding, ding! World 8 is the correct answer. You just got a West Ham sandwich, a spicy West Ham sandwich. All right! Stay on the line as we get your info. What station made you a winner? CS106! Good job out to our caller for knowing what World Vegasar quit in. The caller who called in World 5 was on the right track, since that is where the famous controller throwing incident happened. But he kept playing after that up to World 8 until he finally quit. He did not make it to World 9, unfortunately. He probably would would have quit on 9-1, though. There is no doubt about that. Because he would not have ever thought to stand up. There's just no freaking way. Bum, 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 bum. There's a broken tank. There's a broken tank. We broke 2,800 HP, by the way. I can't go in there. Sir, you sir, you can't go in there. It's okay. I'm the limo driver. The hell? Alrighty then. Oh my god, we're moving fast. I can't get these. It's impossible. I'm liable to die if I try and get those. Okay, then. There's someone in the water. Aha! AW style. Do, 
Long to church, church, church. Long to church, church, church. There's some health. Long to church, church, church. 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 Hypodermic needles. Oh no! They're trying to force the vaccine on poor Romeo. Can't do that on television. Can't even do that on pay-per-view. Stop shooting me, sir. This isn't the south side of Chicago, you know. You don't need to be doing that. What the fuck are you taking? Health. Stop hooking me! I should be fishing for you, not you fishing for me, you son of a beep! I have seven viewers and five of them are pool experts. Bow, wah. Do, 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 do. 67, Land, Water, and Sky. I think that's actually the name of an FF14 event. Mr. Cannon is continuing to work on the lab while the syndicators are continuing to progress through Moon Pie Lake Forest. What are we doing to stop more groups? Well, more CSF units are being sent to stop the syndicators at Moon Pie Lake Forest, while our GT-10 strikers are getting ready for the next batch of hooligan buster tests. Start a long number chat. A few hooligan buster test rounds destroy some of Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon's old tanks, from his old lab. T test graders gave an A-plus on the tests. They got an A-plus! Our follow-up hooligan buster t That means we can sustain our production rate. We should be able to create enough rounds to destroy any tank rounds to destroy any tank they come up with. That's good to know. We, we haven't stopped Romeo yet, but at least Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon, won't be able to use any more tanks ever again. Keith has decided not to order an airstrike on the lab, as he will hold off until they are ready to head to the volcano. When they roll out their tanks, Keith will order hooligan buster rounds to destroy all their tanks. Good. Shut up, Mike. I want to hurt Mike, like, really badly. I really do. Hate that guy. We will be rolling out a bunch of unit types, including a couple new Aqua unit types. The new Aqua unit types include Water Strike Aqua units that can call in Water Strikes, as well as our Tech Aqua units that can use all kinds of underwater tech. Lots of tech. Tech, 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 tech. In this case, the water tech involves special gravity and rotation fields that switch modes frequently. We'll also be rolling out shooters with rapid chain guns, boosters with guided lightning, strikers with missile turrets, ninjas with elemental spells, and agua units with harpoons. HARPOON! Hopefully this works, but I doubt it will. This is the Master CESF Commander, Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon, will no longer be able to use any tanks he makes as our Hooligan Buster project is now ready to destroy all their tanks. Mr. Cannon, who certainly Cannon creates, ha ha ha, tosses and uses party whistle, sets off a bunch of fireworks, then spills ham sandwich. That's a shame. <laughs> There's mustard on my shirt. Unit cleans Keith up. As for the Cinda trash pool experts, at Moon Pie Lake Forest, we will stop them from getting to Studio 7 where Steve and Joe are at. Ha ha ha. 
Looks like we will have plenty of CESF company as we head through the forest. No shit. We'll keep in touch with, with Mr. Cannon, or certainly Cannon, as he continues to rebuild his lab. I wonder how much training we can do before we can face Zygmunt and take down Studio 6 for Mr. Lane and the Fergarat. I'm sure not ready yet. Maybe Mr. Cannon, who certainly can, and can take a laser gun for us to deal with Zygmunt at some time. In the meantime, we don't have such a weapon yet, so hold your horses. We can focus on clearing more of the forest, so hold your chocobos. Why don't we just head to Studio 7 now? Way too many AA batteries. They will shoot down Alan's ship if we try to use this ship to travel directly to Studio 7 where Steve and Joe are at. Shit, what the fuck? We will have to travel through the lake forest on foot or by water. Maybe we can find a way to disable the AA batteries. If we need to at some point, until then we can't use the ship to go through the forest. Could always use that pontoon boat, you know. We can only get to the edge of the forest. Studio 7 is especially heavy on AA batteries. Welcome back to another episode of Vinny's Adventure. I'm here with Vegastar again. I mean, who else is going to sit with me? Hi. Last episode, we got past the first castle. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Yeah, we're so glad that castle is finished. Well, let's start this next level now, shall we? WHS enters level, gets hit by enemies. Son of a bitch! Enemies knock WHS in a hole. God damn it! Now it's my turn. Vegstar gets power up, loses it right away. That's total horseshit! Vegastar loses by falling in hole. God damn it! Okay, it's my turn. WHS makes some progress through level, gets hit. You fucking bitch! I already do not like this level. Yeah, I don't want to play this anymore, but you got to keep playing this. I want to do something else. I don't want the entire internet making fun of me. The internet is not going to make fun of you. They're going to praise us knowing that 300 free men stood against... Oh, wait. Wrong movie. I meant that was a 300 reference, but obviously you suck. You mean they're going to make a movie out of this? Yeah. That's horseshit. WHS gets checkpoint. Yes, I finally got a fucking checkpoint. Finally. Yeah, I hope the rest of this game is not a lot harder than what we had to go through. I doubt things will get easier than what we had to go through. Shut up. Don't remind me of how much harder it can get. I think it'll get a lot harder before it gets even harder. Okay, if this game becomes the next Luigi's Adventure, I'm probably gonna... I'm... This thread won't get finished. You think I'm joking? I'm serious, because you will hear on the news Form Goer West Ham Sandwich found dead in bathroom hanging himself. <laughs> if this game does become the next Luigi's Adventure, I'm done with this game for good. <laughs> Laughs and falls in hole. Son of a bitch! My turn. V v v Vegastar gets hit by enemies. Motherfucker! CS106, I'm Steve, here with Joe. Here are a few more useless and fun facts. On a package of fruit tape candy, the label on the package of the candy says packaging material not edible. Hmm, good source of fiber, maybe. <laughs> coming up, we got some music from George Crooked and Toby Keith coming up after a word from these messages. Awesome. Alrighty, then. Woo! Do-do-do-do-do, pontoon boat. do 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 Everybody likes a pontoon boat. do 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 Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. <laughs> Somebody just casted lightning. Stop throwing lightning, sir. I don't appreciate that. Uh, I think somebody just casted Blizzaga. Or Blizzard, or some such bullshit. I'm certainly not a fan of those kind of shenanigans. The Aga spells. No, oh, jeez. Don't be doing that now.
get over here and such. There's some his elf. Hey. Take it easy, Jack. Something just blew up. Ah, who's doing that? You need to stop. It's pissing me off. I'm just a radio jockey. And a bad one at that. And you're sitting here firing missiles at me and all kinds of ballistics. I don't appreciate that. I, I can't put up with that. There's some nice health. We get to finish a level. And we get a one-up out of it as well, because we got 79 lives. So, it's kind of a thing, really. Wow, wah, 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 four, oh dear god. I think we're going to save this for next time, though. Forest may sound like it sounds like it's going to be a fun time in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, thanks everyone for stopping by. What do they have against syndication? I Love Lucy has been in syndication for almost 70 years. <laughs> and I shall see you all next time. Good stuff. Ba-dum-ba!